Hi there, Marina Barsad with Let It Go Laugh and Leap Forward here. I wanted to share with you something I've been thinking about. I just got back from a nine-day camping trip. I went all the way to the Redwood Forest in California, took a road trip from Colorado. And while I was in the forest and the surrounding beaches, my friend and I, we started playing this game of looking for heart shapes. Uh, we started on the beach looking for heart-shaped rocks, then there was a creek, and then in the forest. And pretty soon my mind started playing these tricks on me and I saw hearts everywhere. So here I am, I got back, and I have this collection of beautiful heart-shaped rocks. One after another after another. One from Utah, even, when traveling back. This one's a little bit, you have to see it. But the point is that it really got me thinking that what we focus on is what we will see. And this is true for a little game, or it's true for everything else in our life as well. That these are just, you know, I was conscious of the heart shape. I was really focusing on it and looking for it. And I spent just a couple days in the forest and two days on the beach, and I ended up with about 20 heart-shaped rocks. I also saw some heart-shaped shapes in the forest as well. And everywhere I went, and it became this game. And it was really fun. And just silly. But it really got me thinking that here I am doing something very simple and consciously looking for it, and it's everywhere. Such a shape in nature, and I found it everywhere. And this is just our conscious mind. Our unconscious mind does 99% of the work. And there's so many things that we're not aware of that we're you know, operating from all the time. So here's this looking for rocks or looking for anything else consciously in your life is one thing you can be consciously looking for a solution or focusing on a color and then seeing it everywhere hearing a song on the radio and then hearing it everywhere but this works also for everything in our lives it's not just these things we're aware of but things we're unaware of as well this works for our problems. This works for everything we focus on. The more we focus on something, the more we look for it. It doesn't seem like we're looking for it, because after a while, when I was searching for these rocks, I stopped searching. But then every time, you know, days later, I would start looking down on the ground, and now my eyes were naturally moving towards seeing these heart-shaped rocks. So I didn't even have to look anymore. They were popping up everywhere. And I believe that our problems... And everything in life works the same way. We focus on something, set our intent on it, whether it's something we want or don't want, it doesn't matter. We actively look at it, and then afterwards it gets stored. It's part of our unconscious encyclopedia of our mind. And pretty soon we see it everywhere. 